Hi, my name is Felicia Gath, and I am a district ed tech facilitator. Um, I support the schools that are located in the north region of the district. And today I am going to share with you how to change a Google form into a quiz. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to select the Google form that I want to look at. Once I have selected my form, I already titled it um, Matter Quiz. In order to change this regular Google form to a quiz, I need to go into the settings tab and where it says make this a quiz, I can assign point values, set answers and automatically provide feedback. I will turn that on so I am uh, enabling it. <clears throat> I can also say immediately after, uh, I can release the grade after the submission, or I can say that I don't want to uh, see, want the grades admitted. Uh, I want to be able to look over them uh, manually prior to doing that. So I would say there are other settings that I can look at such as I want the respondent to be able to see which questions were answered incorrectly and which ones were answered correctly. I want them to be able to see the total points that they receive for each question. Um, right here, I can say that each question is worth, I'll say four points of uh, responses for the questions. I want to collect them through email. And so I will have that turned on. It says send responders a copy of their responses. We can also leave that off or you can turn that on, just depends. Do you want to allow them an opportunity to, to edit their uh, responses? And then you can also manage the presentation of them. Do you want to show the progress bar or shuffle the question order uh, for those particular questions? And so that this is just allowing you to set the stage for how you want to have the assessment organized. So now that you have it set uh, to make this a quiz, then you have your quiz to fill out. And what I'm going to do, let's just say for, <clears throat> for the questions available that I have, I can click on answer key and I can determine which answer is the correct answer for each question so that when actually grading this, I will be able to, and I'm just putting anything on here. Um, and so you can make sure, I would say, or do it, whereas you are able to identify uh, all of the answers within this particular assessment. You can assign the points for each one. We said that there was going to be a four point quiz. So I'm going to adjust my points for the quiz. Uh oh. For each question. And let's just say for <clears throat> this question, I can um, type it or I can give feedback to the student about how they responded. I can give them a link or a YouTube video 
to help them with their answer or their misunderstanding or misconceptions about that particular um, question. So I want to make sure that I have all of my questions answered for this one because it is a short answer question. I am going to give them uh, six points instead of just four points. And so now I have assigned points and I've done my answer key. And so now I can go to uh, responses. Once the students submit their response, then I will have the option to go to responses. It'll show me how many students have responded and then I can go to the uh, Google Sheets tab in order to see who submitted their answers and what were their answers uh, for that particular quiz. So now you can see how to change a Google Doc in a Google form, excuse me, into a quiz. The last thing to do would be to send it to your students. Up here, before I send it to my students, I want to change the end of my URL all the way up to where it says edit. And I'm going to type in copy. And that way, each student will receive, will have to make their own copy of this particular quiz. And that is how you create a quiz uh, using a Google form. And your final thing is to share it with your students. You can share it through the email. You can share it in a link. If you have a Google Classroom, you can post it in there as an assignment for your students to uh, complete and then you would send it to them. And that's it. I hope uh, this was helpful.